Top Dog Morning Laddie. My name is Chad. So welcome to the What If Zuku Became a Robot. So we, where we left off was, of course, the owner of the company. Company. Apologized to Zuku. And the next morning, between Momo and, of course, that girl, Maya, M E I, was waiting for Zuku, so Zuku shows up as before he left or like last night the he told him that how does it feel to have these robot powers well at first, when I, when you threw me in, at first, I thought I was going to die, but, but Zuku says, but other than that, the, you feel, it was great, I can absorb machines. I can mimic people's powers or appearances. Do you want to see one? Sure. As Zuku transforms his entire body into him. So he's like, holy crud. So, no, it was not a waste of money. Plus, I forgot to mention in the last video, the nanites that were in are fireproof. It's everything proof. And he comes right back from his own DNA. So, he ha actually has a nuclear bomb inside of him. So, yeah. So when he shows up, Momo and Mina were, or Maya were like, about time. It took you so long. Huh. Remember that guy? As, as she says, did you kill him? No. He did apologize to me. I forgave him. As he still lives. As. So now. As. He goes. As. She. He. Actually. Between her. And Momo. Or like. Her. She gave him. One kiss on the cheek. And then. See you later, Hainer Hainsome. As Momo. No. Oh, was like, yeah, don't worry. As. So he shows up. So now it's. Heroes versus villains. As, of course, Zuku says, okay. And then after that, the, there's one movable ox. Or can't move, can't be moved by. So Zuku says, okay. As he got paired up with 
Momo. Oh. Or actually not Momo. The Ochaco. Yeah. So. Then. When Momo. Or when. Och or when Zuku. Was get, getting. Re or when. The villains got ready. Zuku. Grabs on to. Och or like slowly. Grabs on to Ochaco's. As he makes clones of both of them. As at first she thought that was weird. But when she realized that he cloned it both of them. So yeah. Zuku. So the when it got started so the clones walked in then and Zuku who and Ochako like flew up huh and they as he phase right through or so they both on the phase through as the Ochako was as mostly Harrison of how did he like so he, as he could face through a wall, so, yeah. So they went through a wall, and right behind the bomb, so that the villains couldn't see him. As they thought, okay, where? As Zuku and them touched the bomb at exact same time as they couldn't believe as plus as Zuku or Momo was blushing because she he didn't realize is is that and the so the yeah as then so now the box metal box he says okay Ready? As he picks the, or like everyone else picks it up, or they're trying to pick it up, but but Zuku picked it up with one hand. Where should I put it? Back. Yeah. So. As Momo almost tried to say, good job, our robot So, now the, at the, let's get to USJ, shall we? Hold on, give me a moment, give me a moment of finding USJ. So they get on, and some of you might not realize the Zoomy is in it, so that the, yeah. So, as 
has, let's say, Jiro. Whose phone was is gonna die? It was at two percent. As she says, "Oh man, I forgot to plug my phone in last night." As Zuku says, "You want me to charge it for you?" As or may see it, sure. As he, as a cable came out of his arm and put it right in as he put it right on his wrist as it's charging as it he doesn't like absorb it so he but it holds it still oh so he says I you know in a couple, like, three or four days that there won't be a head, like, headphone on plug-in, right? Or a couple in the near future. Oh, I know. That's why. So, Zuku was like, okay. So, yeah. So when they got to the USJ, and it was at 100%. Here you go, Jiro. Thanks. Tell me, how did you, like, do that? Like, how did you use a cable from your own wrist, or like your own arm, to plug into a phone? <laughs> I'll tell ya, and probably, Azuku was like, okay, as they show up, and, like, the villains came out to ambush them, as Zuku knows what will happen, so he tells Mr. Azawa, how about we get the team like students all of us students out first or because the as Zuku or as he says no I'll keep them distracted till as Zuku stretched his arms out, grabs him, like pulls him, like puts him outside. He pushed everyone out. And as he says, all right, three, two, one, as he explodes. And Codes. The like the Nomu died. Everyone was got knocked unconscious. As Zuko's body was never got found, but there was a trail of blood thing oil as they couldn't believe that Zuku's dead or as Zuku and Momo actually knew about or actually, Maya, or no, Momo, like, called Maya, and Maya was, like, couldn't believe that he's dead, but he, she also knew that he's still alive. Well, as she, 
Mina tells Momo to go in and look for a blood or oil thing and tell him to wake up. As she says, okay, as she walks in and as Mr. Aizawa says, what are you doing? It's destroyed. Yeah, man, there's one thing. Mr. Aizawa. Zuku isn't human like the rest of us. Or Deku is not like the rest of us. As she found where his blood splatter as time to wake up Zuku as a giant metal hand comes out of nowhere her and picks like forming his entire body funny as as eraser head sees a robotical as he looks up and they see his robot side as yeah I was trying to cover his face so yeah this is what they see as they couldn't believe that Zuku was a robot the entire time. As he gets up, as he used most of his nanites. To form his skin. So he. So now they see. The human part of him. As. Yeah. They're all like spooked out. Because Zuku. As. He. Was like, okay, remind me not to do that ever again. And as probably Momo says, oh, you will. He'll probably do the same thing. But as. Yeah. So they So he walks or so Zuku walks over to his sister and she's like shocked but Huh? But Zuku looks up, or Deku looks up at her and s says, My real name is Zuku Midoriya, your brother. As Zu Inko or Zumi was surprised. Like she was like she had the same face as Ochako, but when she heard that Zuku, she heard about the story of Zuku got killed by in the lab. 
haven't actually seen him in doing all right. He, of course, she looks at him and she, instead of like crying, she actually had tears of joy. She runs up to him and she hugs him. Um, as the, he said, or she says, I thought you, we all thought you were dead, Zuku. When, as Maya, or her, she says, wait, so what happened? It was a pretty long story, but the, when... I should, or he says, is under his breath, I should write a book about my life. As Zuku, as Momo was like, huh, well, Ochako tells Zuku, or they are like, T please tell us when we're waiting for authorities. Yeah, the as they're like all prepped up. Okay, the when our mother Inko, how is she doing, by the way, Zumi? Well, she is, like, after your death thing, she was mostly silent, and she didn't want to talk to anyone. Her stress level, that's... But other than that, the... She'll... No. So, yeah, Zuku says, okay, so our mother took me because it was bring your son to work day. But her boss has made a rule before. No quirkless people allowed. If, they, if it is, they'll get punished. But as he points to himself, when I was the quirkless kid, so as they couldn't believe that Zuku was quirkless before, keep going on, as he says, and the so he decides to grab me by my throat and like dropped me into a like this <clears throat> new project that they were working on was called Nanos. So yeah. As Only people that were heard about this type before was Maya. As she says, they hasn't developed it yet because and the so yeah and so Then I 
after a couple of days have passed, the I didn't know that it got shut down, so the lab got shut down. As and I'm the only one as as his hand turns into into like this hand with all the nanite things as he couldn't believe that Zuku is the reason why that the company got killed or like got the as that's why I'm no longer human anymore. You see me as a human, but I am not. As Jiro says, that's uh, how it explains why you charged my phone with a cable count aim out of your arm. Um, yeah. So. And. Me. He shows his hair. As Inko, or no, Zumi. Where is Zumi? Zumi really missed her brother's fluffy hair. So. So then. He. Was like. As Mr. Aizawa says, huh, and no need to apologize, by the way, or send the apology letters or do anything like that, because, as, huh, you know, as Zuku's, as he sh shows a monitor thing, like, in midair, as he as Mr. Azal sees a possibility of him getting super bad with his quirk, like his blindness, and he showed the thirteen what will happen if. So yeah. S13 was like, what the heck? How did you... Us. So... So, at the same time, the... All for one... Or, no. They, they came back as all for one says... Well, how did it go? Well, terribly, but... We manages to survive. There was this kid that had a nuclear bomb inside of him, and he, when it detonated, it destroyed the Nomu and knocked all of us unconscious. Hmm, well. That's okay. As Mr. Is or no, as all for one says, he is probably. Or does that kid have a name? Well, they kept calling him Deku. Ah, Deku. He's. Or actually, as all for one knows. About Deku's past. 
so he tells him that the his real name is Zuko Midoriya as they said did he die from that at one point yes but now it looks like he's back for vengeance or something like that so now the as he says all right so as the sports festival thing and Zuku was basically one that and I'm skipping the internship thing and the camp park as Zuku was who oh, during the all for one versus all might Hmm. Hmm. Ark. Zuku, no, or all, all might was down, on, or. As he tries to. But he says, huh. Well, you're. Or actually, all for one says you're gonna die. As a beam of light was gonna through but Zuku like use his power he actually shields his friends from that attack as he says huh Ah, Zuko Midoriya, how are you feeling? Are you alive or dead inside? As he says, well, or Zuko says, well, I feel great. But you, you no, know, aren't doing so well. As he, he grabs, like, all for one. Launched both of them up into the air. And he exploded. All for one. Yeah, so basically like all for one before. Was like. He was going to use his most powerful attacks. But Zuku blocked it. And then now he's... Hall for one that was dead. So, Zuku's... Actually threw his entire head. Like, launched to the entire head. Right at the earth, so yeah, as it did that, as he says, as it explodes, boom, as they thought he died, he <laughs> as they see. All for one. Or no. When All Might was looks up. As he sees. Zuku's head. Then. Crashing down. As Zuku. Or as All Might grabs. All for. Or not. Or Zuku's head.
as he as the nanites means there he regenerated like his skin got melted off but to reveal his cyborg or <laughs> no his Sorry about that, the my nose was running. But Zuku or they see his robot half as they he regenerated his entire body part as he looks up at All Might as All Might was I couldn't believe that Zuku or his students were a robot. Huh. As. So, yeah. And everyone else is, couldn't believe that he's still alive. As when Zuku was done, rebuilt his full body. And the skin went over his entire body. Yeah. As he shows these, this is what he looks like. As he says, huh. Well, the same thing is, you know, my, as. Yeah, so basically, they all couldn't believe that he lived through that. As Nezu is like, yeah. Zuku, who, or Nezu says, or, good job, Zuku. But, this time, or next time, and when you launch somebody up into the air, make sure you, like, guide them to the prison, or the ocean next time. Oh, I will. As Nezu is, like, train Zuku. As news reporters wanted to ask him about the just him, they ignored everybody else. So he was on the news thing. So he's like, Okay, Zuku, how did it feel to be a robot or having all this power? Well, the Zuku, or I, or Zuku says this, well, I don't mind it at all. The, you know that Tino, or whatever his name is, the, that lab company thing? Yeah, the... And Zuku says, well, one day it was the, of course, let me tell you all that I know that I used to be human, but now the Zuku, or so I, says when I was quirkless one and so they the rule of that company was not allowed the uh, quirks or non quirk users like quirkless people to Like me in there, but the 
my mother took me in to there and the boss dropped me in in into a nanite thing as the so basically nanites didn't like human flesh bones or anything of a human so yeah Zuku with his sorry backstory he mean everyone like cry they had doubts about him so he says when other than that I he am still living as he did shock the entire world as he basically did that Inko was watching and she was sobbing her eyes out I saw she was sitting right next to her and she couldn't believe or he couldn't believe that or they can't believe Zuku is back from the dead so yeah As so now, and so I'm skipping the overhaul arc, and of course, when Toga heard about it. When Toga heard about what Zuku is, she couldn't bl or she instead of being all like happy, happy, joy, into like the saddest person. Yeah. And she su was so surprised when she heard about the backstory of him. So, yeah. So, he basically, Zuku and Momo and Ma Maya, is that how you pronounce her name? Hat and that girl both of them between Momo and her got married to Zuku and of course before Zuku who walked up to or actually walks up to the Midorias as Inko and Nishashi was like, hmm. well, I can't believe he actually came back to life. As he knocks on the door, and then he walks in, as he, as Inko and Nishashi were so shocked, I'm back. As they both went and hugged him with Zumi. So yeah. As but there was one thing that Zuku that they didn't count for. 
they missed one piece of blood. So, yeah. As Zu Ares, as Zuku tells her that you don't have to be alone for her with those men. As he tells her that the you're gonna be all right, and I went through that. Nah. As he looks over and sees a blood stain that's the size of a inside a nickel, but the like. There was nothing in it, so so he Zuku lifts the chamber up as he says, "Hmm." So, Ares, I know that your power is to rewind time, right? Yes. And you you touch the that blood thing thing. Just don't worry. To try something. As Ares activated her quirk on the blood thing, as it. And it was like. It. Like. Nothing happened. And then when they left. The, then, then the Zuku, human Zuku, came out. Um, so, yeah. As he looks around. As he goes, as he sees two of them, er, like, they both like, huh, copycat, no, 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 you, you have it all wrong, you, you know, it worked, as it goes, Who are both Zuku's actually they both agree that he <clears throat> that Zuku was basically a got a quirk or from to multiply himself. And when he came back to life. Yeah. So they. So. They created a machine. To fuse both Zuku's together. Into one body. So. Yeah. They both did. And. Zuku, they both like, he looks up, as Zuku wasn't a cyborg, he was, like, because his DNA and the, and his robot self, oh, well, like his nanites. Fused into one, so he's basically his one full Zuku. And he was buffed. Like, he was like. It looked like a fusion of All Might and Endeavor's buffness. This two. Like fuse them together. Yeah. 
But Zuku was like so yeah. So now this is end of the video and peace out.